welcome everyone in this informational video i'm going to explain you how to understand any api for python integration as you know that pssc provides you with a rich documentation of apis so how you can use those apis in your python program here it is let us take an example of an api which is used to create a subsystem uh, so if you want to create a bus based subsystem this is how you can do it so this is a typical um, uh, command uh, or a syntax which comes from the uh, api.pdf document so what it says is we need to understand how this works so the part you see on your left hand side this is basically the return value so any function within the api is going to return if any value is going to be returned from that particular api it will be mentioned here so for instance in this case it returns only one value which is the error itself and what kind of values this error can return so for instance if you are running this code or running this command in your uh, program and you get uh, a certain uh, value out of it so you need to know what this value exactly means so this value if you are returned with value 0 it means that there was no error and your uh, function or your api uh, python command works perfectly if you get one it means that the uh, subsystem id wasn't defined uh, it wasn't valid or if you get an error two it means it wasn't defined at all so this way i mean you get this so now basis is basically the function or the command itself and since you are using uh, these belongs to a family of psspy so always remember whenever you have to use a uh, api within your uh, python program you need to include psspy dot then the python function with it so here ssid the explanation is given in the api documentation itself so sid here means you have to provide here an integer value and what kind of integer value you want to provide valid bus system id valid bus system id range from 0 to 11 so this means that you can provide any value between 0 to 11 any value beyond that is going to cause an error and this error will be in this form 1 let's say you select 12 here you should be getting an error 1 telling you that the sid you have selected is not valid so the second one is use kv so this in this case is an integer but it is in terms of a flag so by flag mean it can only take two values either it is going to be zero or it is going to be one so based on this uh, your api is going to work so if you want to uh, filter out your bus system or your subsystem uh, in terms of voltages then you can use this one and then you have the other one is the the next one is the base kv so what does this base kv tell you this base kv is basically telling you you need an array of two element so here it means that it has to be a specific array which can only contain two elements anything more than two is going to cause an error for you and what are uh, these two elements base kv1 should be the minimum value and base kv2 should be the maximum value so so you need to understand these apis correctly before using them otherwise i mean you will be using an api and you might not be getting what you expect so this way uh, here i have explained how i have used it in a program so error returns me the error code from this particular function so see psspy i am using dot basis the remaining command so here one means sid i am giving is one similarly i am not using any base volt uh, base kvs or the kvs voltages uh, filter so that's why my base kv flag is here if you see my base kv flag is an empty list similarly area number because i'm not using any area and i am uh, filtering everything in terms of buses so where does my bus uh, available so this buses is basically my bus num a list of buses which i want to filter out and the length so here what happens is that for these area numbers for the bus um, buses the owners or the zones what you need to do is you need to provide two values the first one is how many zones or how many buses or how many areas you are working with let's say uh, if you want to select an area uh, and you have area one and area two in your 
PSSC case. So if you want to select both area 1 and area 2 out of 5 areas 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you want to select area 1 and area 2, so your uh, this list is going to be something like 1, 2 within square brackets. And how many elements are there? 2 elements. So you will update this value as 2 and within these uh, square brackets it will be 1, 2. So this way you can use this bus system. In this way go through the API document whichever uh, Python command you want to use you can interpret this. If you have any problem reach back to us and uh, uh, we can help you uh, how to interpret or how to use that particular command in your Python code.